it's interesting because I think when I was watching the production, Nero as a character seemed to age as the play went on. Yeah. And, and was that intentional when you were writing that you wanted her to start off quite childlike? Yes, definitely. And like, like, and like a doll, basically, something to be yeah. played with and frivoled about. Um, yeah. For her to then, by the end of it, become a, a woman who knows what she wants, stands her own ground and get, you know, a, a, and goes with what her heart and her gut and her in instincts are telling her to get. Yeah. I mean, I think that uh, one of the things I was thinking about was, it, I can never say this word, exotic exoticization That's it. of, <laughs> yes, I, can, <laughs> oh, yeah, I can write it, it's but very hard to say it. it out loud. Indian, the way that Indian women were almost fetishized. Fetishized, what, yeah. Yeah, by, by, you know, white colonialists. And in a sense, that is a metaphor for colonialism, the way that, that the British treated India. Yes. Loved it, absolutely loved it, loved everything about it, wanted to possess it, wanted yeah. to keep it for themselves, wanted to take everything from it. And then just like, you know, when they didn't do what they wanted them to do, they would throw them to the side. And so I felt very much that's what the whole play was for me about yeah. in terms of my adaptation. It was like the whole thing was a metaphor. Helma is in Britain, Nehru is India. Yeah. So, I mean, if you put it that blank, you know, that it, it, it kind of makes sense. But yeah. having said that, you need to characterize them. You can't just say that you can't, then it becomes too desk thumping. So for yeah. me, Niru was very much a sort of Indian doll. Yes. She's been pampered very much like she's in the original, but in this, it, it feels more, she's younger. Yeah. She's a young woman and Helmer is a slightly older, not, not elderly, but older man. Mm. He's probably in his forties, she's in her twenties. She's already got kids. Um, and he just wants to, he just loves her yeah. as she is, as this sort of helpless little doll. So yeah. this whole growth of her throughout the play is, is kind of inevitable, but also we had such an amazing actor playing her. Yeah, Anjana was incredible. Yeah, Stunning. she's like, yeah, absolutely amazing. And she actually won, She, I think she was, she she was, was nominated, nominated for, for, it, yeah, for an Evening Standard, standard yeah. Award, yeah. But then uh, she she lost out to Dame Maggie Smith. So, you, know. <laughs> <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> but she, but she is, she's an, I think she's an amazing character. And the great thing again about the play is that when you look at it structurally, they never leave the house. No, they so don't. even when she goes out to the party and does her dance, we don't see that. No. She, we don't see her, we never see her out. So so that the atmosphere gets more and more condensed and intense because yes. we never ever step out of the house. So it becomes this, you know, it, it's almost like it becomes a boxing ring of yeah. a marriage. Yeah. You you can always see them sort of circling each other like taking swipes at each other in a in a strange way yeah i mean tom calls her his little indian princess mm. in, in your adaptation i mean when you were writing this play did you have an idea of who you were writing for and um why you wanted to write it now i mean obviously uh, it was a few years back, yeah but, um, i mean it's really interesting because I often get asked, who, do you know who you're writing for? I, the only thing I think about is it's a live play for an audience. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think about who's going to be in the audience. I mean, at one point, I remember Michael Billington once asked me, do you write for an Asian audience? Yeah. And I just thought, no, because if I thought of an Asian audience, that I would just see a sea of my mother's faces in yeah. the audience and then I'd never write anything <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's actually not no I I think I just write for an audience to entertain and yeah. to move. and in terms of why now I think that um probably because I I am very interested in uh his history I mean that's mm -hmm. actually what I studied at university but also because I, I don't feel like this story has really been told before. Mm. Or no, it has been told before. It hasn't been told enough. Yes. Um, and it's an interesting moment just before uh, Indian nationalism mm -hmm. starts building up. Um, it's also a time in, in, in Britain where there's a whole um, movement to colonise Africa as well. Yeah. So, there's, so, there's, so there is another another story behind that as well 
Yeah. And I think for me, what, one of the people that I was really interested in was Dr. Rank. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I, I always kind of quite liked him. Yeah. He, I think in the original, or maybe not so much in the original, all the productions I've ever seen, he's always quite a creepy, creepy old white man. Man, yeah. Um, whereas I think in mine, I wanted to make him a little bit more of an equal to Helmer. Yeah. Uh, and and one of those British who actually felt that the British were not doing the right thing out there. Yeah. So that that was the one scene I wrote. I wrote one scene which was not Ibsen. Yes. And um, that was the scene between him and Helmer right at the beginning. Mm. It's interesting because Tom's character also has quite sympathetic views towards, um, uh, is it doc uh, Dr. Raj? Raj? Dr. Rank. Yeah, Dr. Yeah, Dr. Rank. Yeah. In the sense that he, 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 un he understands the trauma that colonizing India is brought, but then he also talks about the fact that the British are benevolent, you know, yeah. loving. Um, I mean, how much historical research did you have to do in order for you to stay true to the um, in the, the history of the play or where you've set it? Um, yeah. And what was that process like? Because, I mean, you've written many other plays that that are, that is set in colonial India, but um, why specifically this? I mean, how much research did you have to do specifically for this um, period? This uh, period? I, yeah, no, I mean, I always, whenever I'm writing, I always research as I go along. Yeah. And uh, I, I have been known to, to haunt the, the the rooms of the British Library, <laughs> finding, <laughs> going down wormholes that take me nowhere. But, you know, that kind of, um, I I guess I I kind of already knew quite a lot of the history yeah. because of all, all the other stuff I'd been doing, but also specifically i was looking at indian women of that time of that era yeah. uh, and when i when i researched into you know what kind of lives did these women have mm -hmm. i was actually really uh i was i was kind of surprised that there were a lot of middle class educated women from india who became doctors and lawyers and who weren't able to practice because they were women who went to Britain, who went to Cambridge, who went to Oxford, you know, yeah. incredible amount of, uh, you know, the, you know, that, 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 that kind of stepped away from their families and mm -hmm. did their own thing. So for me, Nero at the end will be all right. She's going to go off and probably become something amazing. Yes. Whereas I think for a lot of uh, uh, people who didn't really know about the, the history, I mean, I, I got asked by journalists, so what's going to become of Niru in Darjeeling? What's she going to do? Yeah. I kept saying, she's going to be all right. Fine. <laughs> she's <laughs> going she's to go back to school and become a, I don't know. Anything she wants to be. Yeah, anything she wants to be. Yeah. Uh, and it's not that they they didn't achieve. The point is that she she is closed in and, and she is free at the end. Um, I don't think she's going to be a, become a beggar on the street. So, I mean, I, I know that this play is um, one play amongst uh, a set of other plays, too. Um, I mean, and, and I have my opinion, but I I, was, I wanted to ask you why you think this play needs to be taught at school, at GCSE level for drama school, drama, drama GCSE students. Um, yeah, and, and why? What? Yeah, yeah, that's my Well, point. I kind of... I kind of think you've already said it, which is that actually the play, even though it's it's an old play from like what is it, 140 years ago, 150 yeah. years ago now, yeah. it's it, the 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 issues and the themes are so prevalent even yeah. today about a woman who is trapped yeah. in a in a marriage where she's completely not allowed to do anything and she's seen as a plaything. So it's not just about sexism, but it's also about the relationship between men and women. I mean, how important it is to have equality in a relationship but also in terms of race as well so so what i've done with this play is i have layered race into it yes. so whereas before it's it was you know set in north set in set in a cold country where they're all standing around a stove with mufflers and they're they're you know batting the snow off their boots here we're in a tropical country it's still a husband and wife and it's still the same issues but it's also about race 
but mm. it's set in the same time. And actually what's really interesting about the play is that the, all those issues is totally current, as you said, yeah. today. Um, not just not just class, not sorry, not just race and set and sexism, but also about cut class. Mm. Das also represents a low, what a we would cast, say a low caste. Cast, yeah. Whereas here, low class or a yes, working class. Working class, yeah. Who will never ever reach get through that um glass ceiling however hard he tries yeah because he's not because as helma says he's got bad blood yeah a lot of he, birth. yeah he didn't go to Eton, basically yeah basically not of the right birth yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and he doesn't like he does and he probably likes john lewis furniture so yes. you know, <laughs> yeah yeah and and so, it just goes to show that it's a universal play. It's the universal Everyone play, can relate yes. to, relate to it some some way or yeah, another. Totally relevant. You know, it's it's not a, an Indian play or a, a white British play. Yeah. It, it's a play for all. 